Hello, my loves. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome in to this video for the solar shift into Sagittarius. So first things first, if you are new, hi, welcome in. It is wonderful to have you here. What we're going to be doing is talking a little bit about astrology, and then we are going to be using our own astrology, learning about it, and then tapping into the spiritual tools of the oracle cards to get guidance on how to best utilize our personal astrology during this season. So if this is your first time here, you may want to go watch my tutorial video on how to get the most out of these readings. It is not necessary, but it's a tool there for you if you want to know how to engage with this material in a deeper way. For those who are not new, hello, welcome back. It is so wonderful to have you guys here. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's a pleasure for me to offer this support in this way. It brings me so much joy, and I hope you guys all know how much I truly love you, care for you, and am excited for your journeys. If you want to support me, there's many ways you can do that. Just engage with this material. Share it with people you think it will align with. You can also comment on it and let me know what is resonating for you, what questions you have. You can also donate if you feel inspired at paypal.me slash devotedvulnerable, link is in the description. And you can go to my website, devotedandvulnerable.com slash services, link is in the description, if you want to learn more about the services that I offer. I offer card readings, I offer guided meditations, I offer a bunch of different other things, so go there and check it out if you feel called, no pressure. With all that being said, let's jump into Sagittarius season. I'm so excited to bring this energy to you guys. Sagittarius is my favorite sign. I am totally biased. I am a Sagittarian sun. I'm a, Sagitt I'm a Mercury Sagittarius. I'm a Saturn Sagittarius and I'm a Uranus Sagittarius. So I am quite Sagittarian in my astrological makeup. Don't worry if that didn't make sense to you. Basically, I have a lot of Sag energy. So let's talk about what a solar season is. A solar season is when the sun, the spotlight of our solar system, is in a particular sign. The solar season of Sagittarius will start on November 22nd when the sun moves into the sign of Sagittarius and it will last until December 21st, until the solstice, when the sun will then move into the sign of Capricorn. So during this solar month, and I will refer to this as the month as we go through these readings. So please understand when I say this month, I do mean solar month, November 22nd to December 21st. We're going to be focusing on the Sagittarian energy, the Sagittarian archetype. So your readings are going to be based on where Sagittarius shows up for you in your chart. Essentially what planets, the sun, the moon, and or your rising sign exist in the sign of Sagittarius. Now, if you do not know what planets and aspects you have in the sign of Sagittarius, do not worry. This is part of what we do here in these readings. We learn about our astrology to get caught up with your own astrology, to get access to your own chart, to know how to read it and find out what planets are in this sign. Watch my tutorial video. I have this tutorial video created for how to find your birth chart information on astro.com. It, link is popping up here and it is also in the description if you want to go and enter in your birth data to that site. And you do need to know your birth time in order to access this information. So go ahead and watch my how to find, how to find your birth time tutorial to get caught up on how to find your birth time so that you have something to work with with the chart generator. So we're going to be spotlighting the sign of Sagittarius by finding out what planet, the sun, the moon, and or the rising sign is in Sagittarius. You will watch the readings and the explanations for every single planet that you have in Sagittarius. So for example, I mentioned that my sun's in Sagittarius, so is my Mercury, so is my Saturn, and so is my Uranus. So technically I have four readings this month because I have four planets in the sign of Sagittarius. I know that might be a lot of information for you, but this is when the sun, the spotlight of our galaxy is really highlighting these elements and aspects of your life. So it's really fun to dive into how this is showing up in your life, how this archetype may be expressing itself through you, through the planets. I'll describe in each video 
what the planet in the sign of Sagittarius really means before I dive into the reading and the advice. If you do not have your sun, the moon, your rising sign, or any of the planets in the sign of Sagittarius, there's a video for you called Background Sagittarius. I'll explain in that video what that means, but you can watch that video if you don't have any of those aspects. So a little bit more about Sagittarius. You want to look at your Sagittarian suns for this entire month as well. Watch how they shine. Watch how they act during this time. So anyone with a birthday between November 22nd and December 21st, I call it spying on the solar sign, so that you can really learn more about this energy. The Sagittarian archetype is the archetype of the archer. And the archer has this bow and arrow that it's aiming. And what is it aiming at? It's aiming at anything it wants to, but the thing that Sagittarius loves to aim at the most is truth. We love to aim at truth. Truth is one of our favorite things to aim at. It is essentially the energy of this archer and or centaur. So we can be adventurous. The Sagittarian sign is adventurous, congenial, which means likable, dreamy, very, very idealistic, very, very focused on what it is that we are wanting in our lives. We are optimistic. We're always looking at the positive side of things and we are intellectual. So I say we because yes, I am in the Sagittarian archetype, but this is going to show up somewhere in your life as well. So it refers to you as well, no matter where it shows up in your chart. So the modality of the Sagittarius, meaning the way that this energy expresses, is through the modality of what's called mutable. You see the little arch with the dot underneath it up there. And that's the symbol for mutable. Mutable signs are always the signs that happen during a change in seasons. So in the Northern Hemisphere, Sagittarius happens between the change from fall to winter. It's not quite winter yet, and fall's kind of wrapping down, winding down. And so the energy of the Sagittarius is very changeable, mutable, very adaptable. It's constantly shifting. The element of the Sagittarius is fire. It's represented here by the triangle. The triangle is the flame going up towards the sky. And so the element of fire represents the spiritual world, the spiritual realm. So when we put those two together, we have this changing spirituality. That is a lot of the essence of the Sagittarian archetype. Not only are we focused on truth, you have to be a seeker of knowledge in order to gain this truth. Through adventure and experience, we learn in our lives. And so it's this ever-changing spiritual nature of the Sagittarian archetype that we're going to be exploring and spotlighting for this entire solar month. I created a little explanation page here for you guys to show you a few different elements of the Sagittarian archetype. So you see here the symbol represented by the arrow. Next to it we have, of course, the archetype, the archer. The planet that rules Sagittarius is the planet of Jupiter. Jupiter is all about expansion. It's all about luck. It's all about making things big and bright and energy. So the Jupiter energy is this amazing hugeness in our galaxy, in the story of the Zodiac. And so it rules the Sagittarian sign because they're so very similar in their energies. The key word for Sagittarius is idealize. I would also say that the key word is truth. You can see here the constellation of Sagittarius. And again, we have the element of fire represented by the triangle, the modality of mutable, that changeable energy represented by the half circle and the dot, and the house of Sagittarius. So each Zodiac sign represents or rules a house. So they go in the order of the Zodiac story. So Aries is the first sign in the Zodiac story. So it represents the first house. Sagittarius is the ninth sign in the Zodiac story. So it rules and represents the ninth house. You can think of the planet 
as the what of your zodiac story, the sign as the how, how that what expresses, and the house as the where. So the where of the ninth house is very Sagittarian in energy. It is all about learning, travel, adventure, spirituality. It can deal with mental health. It can deal with higher learning. That is where the energy of the ninth house represents and shows up in our lives. Now more about the houses will come through in my moon readings. The new one in Sagittarius happens a day after this solar shift. So after you watch these videos, you definitely are going to want to watch the new moon in Sagittarius video where we are going to be focusing on the house energies where this new moon is showing up for us in our lives and the advice that's coming through for the lunar phase of Sagittarius, which is going to start one day after the solar phase. All right. So for this reading, we are going to be consulting the Isis Oracle by Alana Fairchild. And if readings aren't your thing, please feel free just to watch the explanation of your energy and let yourself play with how that expresses throughout your solar month. But we can also use the cards to get more insight in how to really capitalize on this energy. The Isis Oracle wanted us to focus on freedom, this solar phase. So freedom is a huge theme of the Sagittarian archetype. I haven't really talked about it yet, but it deals with this expansion. In order to be free, you have to be able to expand. In order to expand, you have to be able to be free. If you're confined, you're not able to expand and you're not free. So we're going to focus on how to get ourselves to open up to a more free way of living. That is what the Isis Oracle really wants to bring to us for this solar season of Sagittarius. So in order to focus on this freedom, the Isis Oracle is going to bring us this little poem, this little affirmation to say throughout our solar phase, to really activate within us this free expression that we are looking to embody during the Sagittarian season. This is a very, very powerful deck. And I am excited to share the medicine, the power, and the beauty, and the wisdom that this deck has to offer. We have covered everything that we're going to cover here in this explanation video, and we're going to dive into our individual readings. Hello, my beautiful Jupiter in Sagittarius. Welcome into your reading. If you're already familiar with what the Jupiter in Sagittarian energy is, you can scroll ahead to the card reading. So Jupiter in the astrological story represents our luck and our expansion. And your luck and your expansion is in the sign of Sagittarius. So you express luck and expansion through the Sagittarian archetype. Now there's a crown here on top of the Sagittarius and Jupiter energy with a little staff representing that this is a domicile placement, AKA you are, your planet is in the sign of its ruler or the ruler is in the sign of its planet. So the planet rules the sign of Sagittarius and the planet was in the sign of Sagittarius when you were born, meaning this is super aligned, supercharged area of your chart and your life. And we are spotlighting and highlighting that during this solar season of Sagittarius. So your luck and expansion comes through adventurous energy, congenial energy, idealistic, optimistic, and intellectual vibrations comes through this changing fire this spiritual adaptability that you have. So learning higher education and philosophy and understanding is where you expand, is how you gain your luck, is how you express your luck in life. It's super powerful. I also wanna note that the new moon in Sagittarius, when it happens on the 23rd of November, Jupiter, which has been retrograde, Will be stationary it means it's stopping its momentum and it's about to go forward so jupiter plays a prominent role in 
this new moon. It's also in a favorable relationship with the new moon because Jupiter is in the last couple degrees of Pisces right now. And because the new moon in Sagittarius will be in the first couple degrees of Sagittarius, it forms a relationship called a trine. You don't have to understand what any of that means. I will describe more about this in the new moon in Sagittarius readings. But I just wanted you to know, basically, this is a really aligned time for you. Things are moving in this area of your life. You're starting to learn more about your luck and expansion and it is being highlighted and spotlighted this solar phase in a big, 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 big expansive way. Like big, 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 big energy here. Okay. Did I make it big enough for you? Big energy. Okay. Got it. Let's find out what your advice is to really unlock your freedom when it comes to your luck and expansion this solar phase. If you haven't already taken a few deep breaths, called in your spiritual support team and opened your heart to receive the guidance that's most aligned for you, I invite you to do that at this time. All right, my beautiful Jupiter in Sagittarians, let's find out what card we have here for you. Oh. Let me see what card is here for the Jupiter in the Sagittarians. You guys keep getting two cards. I'm getting the advice that it's not two cards. It just needs to be shuffled up more. Okay. There she is. Okay. Rising sun. The divine solar child reborn. Open to it, almost right to it. A dark phase and struggle is over. A new phase is upon you of hope, glory, light, and triumph. It is won through boldness and persistence. Even when you felt like giving up, you chose to stay strong and to surrender to the divine and continue with the path. You have been through so much, and now victory is upon you, beloved. For the divine solar child, a new consciousness within you is born. Did I say this was big or did I say this was big? Okay, before I dive into the incantation, the affirmation for you, ooh, let's tap into this vibration. So your expansion is happening in consciousness, which makes sense because spirituality and consciousness are very, very linked. And... There's a shifting, there's a changing, there's a moving forward here for you. Just what I felt like when I was reading that, you deserve a round of applause. I'm getting a little teary-eyed. You have been through a challenge, a trial, and you have offered yourself up to guidance, to love, to the divine, whatever you call that energy, that source light, and it has held you through this vibration. You are birthing something completely new. And it is beautiful and expansive and it's going to bring you luck and joy and freedom. Freedom. Feels like you have been shackled and it feels like the shackles are falling off. The gate is opening and you are walking into a new life. Yes. Especially on a conscious level, an awareness. Yes. Here's your affirmation. I recommend writing it down. I recommend reading it in the morning and at night, but you do you. Uh, if you put captions on on YouTube, it'll help you to write this down as I read it. And I'll try to be choppy. So every few words, just pause, write it down, and then press play again. Rising sun. I am your solar child. I bask in your love. Free and wild. I am filled with your hope. Endless and free. Your light and love fills all parts of me. Darkness cast away. Joy is now born with the sweetness of this spiritual dawn. Spiritual dawn. Sagittarius is a spiritual sign. Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius. You guys are like the people I'm going to be watching this solar phase. Wow. Yes. So much love, so much support for you. I really felt as I was reading that, that this is something you might want to say to the sun. 
like opening your windows, sunrise, say this to the sunrise, say this to the sunset, really work with the sun energy and recognize that you are in essence a child of that sun, the sun being in the sign of Sagittarius right now, the solar phase, so much energy around the sun, around this Sagittarian spirituality. Yes, yes, yes. Woo wee. Please reach out to me. Let me know how this is resonating with you. Let me know what this is opening up and invoking and like lighting up within you and inspiring within you. Let me know if there's anything I can do to support you during this time of beautiful expansion, of new joy being born, of releasing the dark and moving into the light and the freedom that is yours to claim and walk into now. Yes, yes, and yes. I love you so much, my beautiful Jupiter in Sagittarians. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, namaste. The universal light within me salutes and honors the universal light within you. Namaste.